Hey YouTube! For today's behind the scenes Saturday video, we're going to look at setting up a virtual machine for scam baiting. Now, when I record my videos, I use a licensed copy of VMware Workstation Pro 12 and a licensed copy of Windows 7. I understand that it may not be possible for everyone to pay for and get licensed copies of all this expensive software, so we're going to look at an alternate way of doing it for free that is still completely legal. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our virtual machine image directly from, from Microsoft for free. Now these virtual machines expire after 90 days and they're supposed to be used for uh, testing Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer, but they are a fully functional Windows virtual machine, which is obviously great for us. So I'm going to go ahead and choose IE 11 on Windows 7. Obviously, it doesn't matter what version of IE you get because you're not going to really be using it. Uh, and then the platform that we're going to use is VirtualBox. So go ahead and select that and click the Download Zip button. And while that downloads, we're going to go pick up VirtualBox. Now VirtualBox is uh, similar in some ways to VMware, which is kind of the golden standard of uh, virtual machines. Uh, it's made by Oracle and it's completely free to use. So we're going to download the x86 AMD 64 version for Windows hosts. While we wait for those to download, why don't we listen to some fun outtakes from the recording of Thursday's MyPhoneSupport.com episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I watched. Oh, I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Run through your line. Are you recording? No. You are too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, be sure to slam that big red subscribe button down below to be the first to know when new videos come out. Yeah, that's your cue! <laughs> <laughs> did you want me to start from the top? What? Did you want me to start from the... You got some weird fucking warm-up methods over there. Did you want me to start from the top? No. <laughs> That's long. Dick's long. What? <clears throat> <clears throat> and don't forget to follow each and everything on Twitter at Twitter.com. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you start laughing? That was fine until you started laughing. So, wait. On Twitter at twitter.com and don't forget to follow each and everything at twitter.com slash each and every yt right yeah but you can't go <laughs> and yt <laughs> <laughs> always a good time over here at each and everything so first let's go ahead and install virtualbox set up preferences however you would like And now extract and move the VirtualBox image from Microsoft to your desktop. Once you're here, it's super simple. Just double click on the image. It'll give you some defaults. I'm going to go ahead and change the name. I'm also going to boost the RAM up a bit just because I have it available. And I'm also going to change the location of the install so it doesn't take up a boatload of space on my SSD. After that, hit import and let the magic happen. Once the import's complete, just select your virtual machine and hit start. Now VirtualBox will boot up and then Windows 7 and it's already installed and it's a fully functional version of Windows 7. Okay, so it's a fully functional version of Windows 7, but it's a little unfriendly looking. So um, first let's go ahead and just select whatever your network preferences are going to be. Then let's head over to the control panel and add a new user. So naturally I'm just going to call mine Michael and I'm going to make it an administrator because um, most of the remote tools they use will require administrator access. Now I'm going to log off and log in as Michael. Once again, very unfriendly looking, agreed all the bullshit, and um, then we're just going to go into personalize and set a background, and there you go, now you have a fully functional virtual machine for scam baiting. Now there are other considerations you have to take into account, such as if you're going to use a VPN to hide your identity and location, and uh, ensuring that no files can be moved back and forth between the host machine and the virtual machine, but I think that's best left to another episode. This BTS episode gets you well on your way to having a completely free and legal 
virtual machine you can use for scam baiting or any other purpose. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, be sure to slam that big red subscribe button down below to be the first to know when new videos come out. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter for some fun banter at twitter.com slash each and every YT. As always, there's a link in the description down below, and we'll see you next time.